Hi, this is Sean Clovis with AmainHobbies.com. Today on RC Talk, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to program a Traxxas ESC. Continuing on in part two of the three-part series, today we're going to be talking about how to program the Traxxas XL5 speed control. There's three modes that can be programmed into the Traxxas XL5 speed control. The first one's going to be standard mode. That's going to be 100% throttle, 50% reverse. The second mode is going to be race mode. It's going to be 100% throttle, zero reverse. The third mode is going to be the training mode. That's going to be 50% throttle, 50% reverse. Training mode is great for the new newcomer into the RC world. You know, for young kids or people that have never drove an RC car before, you're definitely going to want to go ahead and right off the bat put that in the training mode, and then it's very easily going to be changed to bump it up whenever needed. Now we're going to go ahead and show you how to put these modes into these ESCs. First off, we're going to want to start by putting this transmitter on. Now the first mode we're going to go ahead and put this thing in is going to be the training mode. That's going to be mode three. You're going to go ahead and start off by holding down this easy start button. Push it down and hold it on. You're going to see the green light come on. It's going to switch to red. And now there's going to be blinking sequences. One blink, that's for mode one. Two blinks, mode two. Three blinks is going to be mode three. We're going to go ahead and leave that on. It's going to be programmed in 50% throttle. That's going to be your training mode. Now, once you get trained, you know, get used to the car, very familiar, you're going to want some more power out of this thing, you're going to want to bump it up to either race mode or the standard mode. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and shut the ESC off by clicking the easy start button. You want to leave the transmitter on, make sure that's still on, and now go back to the easy start button, and then we're going to do the exact same thing that we just did, except for when it blinks twice, we're going to stop. So go ahead, hold down the button, green light, red light, now the blinking sequences. One, mode one, two, mode two. Let go, red light solid, we're good to go. Now you're in race mode. It's gonna give you 100% throttle and you're ready to go. The last thing we're gonna talk about is how to put this thing into LiPo mode if you plan on running the LiPo battery. LiPo mode is pretty much going to ensure that you have a LiPo cutoff and that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and go back to this easy start button and shut the ESC off. Once again, transmitter still on, going to leave that on the whole time. So now that the ESC is shut off, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. We're going to see that green light again and then as soon as it goes solid red, we're going to let go of the, of the easy start button. So let's go ahead and show you that here. Holding it down, green light, red light, let go. Now it's blinking. Now what we're gonna do is just hold this down for about 10 to 12 seconds. And we're gonna hear some beeping coming from the engine. Now that you've heard those two beeps, the green light is gonna come on solid on the ESC, which it used to be red. And that's gonna let you know that it is now in LiPo mode. Just a good indicator, always green solid light, LiPo mode, red solid light, it's gonna be nickel metal mode. The only time you're gonna really run into issues here with the modes is if you have this in LiPo mode with the green light on and you have a nickel metal battery, as soon as this hits a certain voltage, it's gonna go ahead and just shut off, which won't last long with the nickel metals. LiPos is a really slow discharge rate until it gets to a certain voltage and then it cuts off. This one, though, with the nickel metals, it's gonna drain all the way down. So you're gonna to wanna to use every single bit of this battery so, you know, if you leave it in LiPo mode and you have it on nickel metal, you're probably only going to be getting two to three minutes of runtime that's going to be shutting off. So if you ever run into that issue, plug everything in, you're out running, you're only getting two or three minutes of runtime and then it's dying on you, first thing to check is to come and check out this solid light. Make sure this thing is red and not green with the nickel metal and you'll be on your way. If you have any question on any of this equipment, please don't hesitate to call, chat, or email us at amainhobbies.com and we'd be glad to help you any way 
to make the best RC experience possible.